What's happening guys? It's Misty Lovely coming at you and I'm coming at you guys from my husband's laptop so if it's a little slow please forgive me but I wanted to get this right out to you guys. For those of you who are new to my channel, my surgery date was June 28, 2011. My pre-op liquid diet was June 25th through the 28th so I only had a 72 hour required liquid diet in which I had lost 10 pounds in that amount of time. Didn't have my first fill until uh, 10 weeks out and I had lost 35 pounds. Um, I currently have 5, cc in, 5 cc's in my 11 cc to 12 cc realized band um, so uh, again welcome 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 so happy to have you and uh, let's get right into numbers here I <laughs> last week I was 295.2 and this week I am 291.6 for a total loss of 3.6 pounds and from my highest weight of 378.8 to now 291.6 that's a total loss of 87.2 pounds sorry guys I had to close it out so I had to do it with you guys um, I'm very happy about that I'm very happy about my loss um, as you all know last week was a mental overhaul um, week for me um, and I can even at this point say sabotage because uh, I, I had to really sit and think about the components of what made me feel the way that I felt and one was mother nature for the first time I experienced what I used to go through pre-surgery and what that was was I used to eat a lot two weeks before my cycle actually came on um, so that was a battle that I had to fight and there was one other thing but it escapes my mind so forgive me and then also too you guys know um, for those of you who have been following me you guys know I had a lot going on in my personal life so it's like everything was just pounding down on me and you know I I gave in without even trying to because I'm like you know what I'm being faced it's funny I was being faced with some of the heaviest things we deal with in this life and something not small it's not in the least small because it wasn't small to me then but something so uh, just something that used to happen to me happening again how it could make me feel the way that I felt you know basically it discouraged me it really did um, and I want to talk about that a little bit um, you know I actually had a, a person ask me yesterday that knows about my weight loss um, and I'm actually going to give you guys some information too, so stay tuned. But I'm, I'm speaking on this because I'm hoping that it can help somebody else. Um, I actually had somebody ask me, so how, how's your weight loss going? I was like, it's actually going really good. I'm 87, you know, 0.2 pounds down now. I've lost 3. Point, uh, what I say, 3.6 pounds this week. And, you know, the person was like, I was like, but I was fluctuating the last couple weeks. And they were like, well, what, what's going on? You know, were you, were you eating wrong, making the wrong choices? And I'm just like, you know, why is it always the first assumption? And, you know, and this person is heavy. That was the funny part. I'm like, he's, he's a heavier person. And, you know, you know, I have to be honest. I thought, like, you have a lot of nerve, like, asking me that. You know, now, I did incorporate some new things into my diet because I always want to try different things, new healthier things. But I've always been a, um, a high protein, low carb intaker since I've started my journey. And that's still my thing, you know, um, my aim. And I've met my goals so far this week. And they are to get in 100 um, ounces of water, 100, over 100 protein. And um, so it's calories, protein, and water and uh, to stay in 1,000 to 1,050 calories or even 8 to 1,050 and I've been meeting that um, so it's 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 a lot of different components and sometimes your journey is just going to be tried in whatever way whether it's you know um, outside things that affect you or even things that you're faced with that you want that you've forgotten you know, because you've been fortunate. You know, I've, I've been one that's been fortunate in my journey. I like to think I've been pretty consistent. Um, but it, as people, the assertion should never be made that a person's doing the incorrect thing because they begin to fluctuate or they have a gain or um, whatever the case may be. You know, this is a hard feat. It is not something that's easy and it's not something that's going to come overnight. And who cares if um, one person takes three years to lose their weight or if a person takes two years or one year? It shouldn't have a time limit because you will travel this journey until you close your eyes and go on to glory or wherever you're going to go or whatever you believe. Um, so 
you know, I will fight the good fight and I will be on here if I have to talk to myself. I will be on here to update you guys no matter what, come hell or high water. Forgive my terming, um, but that's just the truth. Um, but I am very grateful for that 87 pounds. Um, as I have in the past, I will not focus on numbers. Um, I know because that can get you in trouble. Um, but I am blessed in that eight months I have dropped 87 pounds. And I didn't think that, that was a possible feat. Anyway, just a couple more things here and I'll let you guys go. Uh, I wanted to, as I said, talk about how to avoid loose skin. I was doing some research and I'm always trying to find some stuff to, to help, um, you know, on this journey uh, to greater health. Um, and I looked up how to avoid loose skin when losing weight and this is what I found. Um, it's an article by Arthur Amber Kiefer, and I will put the descript I will put the link in the description box below, so you guys can check that out. Um, and it states, and this is fairly recent. This was written June 14, 2011. Hey, well, not fairly recent. A little bit before my surgery. Hey. Anyway, um, so loose skin is a common physical change after losing a lot of weight because skin tissue is elastic. Elastic. It needs to adjust to the change in body size. Dr. John J. Crick, doctor of the Physical Activity and Weight Management Research Center at Pittsburgh, makes the point that overweight individuals with BMIs between 35 and 40, I'm going to take my time because I want you guys to understand what I'm saying, <laughs> um, between 35 and 40 will have more excess skin after losing significant weight than someone who loses 25 pounds. Although sagging skin cannot always be avoided, especially if you were overweight for several years, there are strategies you can use to help um, your skin shrink to fit your body's new shape. Okay, and these are them. Number one, they state to lose weight at a younger age, but uh, because skin is supposed to be more resilient, therefore it will snap back. I'm going to um, summarize these because I don't want to be here before you guys too long. Um, and like I said, it'll be at the bottom. Skin is more resilient when you are young, making it easier for skin to firm back up or rather snap back. And even when um, uh, you start out a little bit loose, as I am myself beginning to see, the skin still can snap back um, over time once you've uh, stabilized in your weight. Um, See, working on losing weight as soon as you realize you have put on too many extra pounds. Skin can retain elasticity if you carry extra pounds for a shorter period of time. So the, the lesser time you've been overweight, the greater chances are for your skin to snap back. And even more than that, I think, this is just my personal opinion, it has to do with what you do uh, exercise-wise and when you start on your journey. So for those of you who are starting pre-surgery, excellent, excellent thing to do um, to get yourself in the habit and even begin to train that body and transform it because depending on what type of surgery you get, that also can depend on how much weight you will lose. It is a well-known factor that with gastric, there is an initial uh, weight loss just due uh, to the surgery um, itself. Now, it differentiates. Everybody is not so fortunate, um, but this is what I've seen because th we do have different surgeries and um, there are supposed to be, quote unquote, greater losses with each one. But we know that the band you can have uh, success up to three years just as much as a gastric person would. Um, so, number step number three, stop smoking if you are planning to lose weight. Smoking damages the elasticity of the skin, making it more deep. Difficult to tighten flabby skin following major weight loss. Interesting. Uh, number four, lose weight gradually so that your skin has time to adjust. So for those of you who are only losing a pound, you know, you're losing it slower, so you're more apt to keep it off. And even more than that, your skin is more apt to um, have more time to snap back. Um, and step number five, exercise to build more lean muscle. As I just said, um, lean muscle mass and lose fat. Use weight training and strength training exercises to tone muscles and firm skin tissue. This is what I'm starting to do now. Even though I am heavier and a lot of people probably wouldn't even suggest I do this. Um, you know, everybody, different, everybody is different. And my husband was even telling me, um, because I'm losing weight so rapidly, it, my body is going to start. Uh, because of the way I work out as well, because you guys know I hit the gym four to five times a week, three uh, up to three hours each time, and I'm on that elliptical owning it, you know, like it owes me money. Um, and, you know, they say 
professionals state that after 45 minutes, your body is no longer burning in carbs or the sugars, the things that are easy to break down. It's now going into the proteins, which is your muscle. You don't want that, and you begin to see more flab. Um, even this is my husband's opinion. He says it's why you have run runners. Um, they have a little bit more because they they they, they lose so quick because they burn. They burn. They burn a lot of uh, fat. Um, <clears throat> so number step number six: drink plenty of water. Water, water, water. Um, water is so essential for this journey, for the skin, for the hair. You know, um, this has never been asked of me, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway. Um, I haven't lost any of my hair. I've actually, my hair has grown a lot. Um, it's in the middle of my back now. Um, so water, water helps with skin, skin elasticity. Also, too, another tidbit from my husband. Speaking of my husband, my husband has stated, if you guys have any questions, because he is a, a personal trainer, um, to me, I consider him one. I mean, he doesn't train me. He just helps me out every now and then. Uh, he is a bodybuilder, and he is really into health. He studies kinesiology. Um, he says that he is more than happy to take any questions. That's the only way I'm going to get him on here, so ask questions. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then number seven, give it time. Your skin may be loose when you first lose weight, like I said. And However, if you were extremely overweight, it, it should firm back up. If you are able to keep the weight off and continue eating well and exercise regularly, your skin should improve over time. So um, hopefully that gives some of us hope, especially those of us worried about the infamous bat wings. So anyway, um, thank you guys for your time. Um, thank you for those of you who support me um, unwaveringly. You know, know that Miss T. Lovely is going to give you every aspect of this journey. I, I mean to be as honest and forthright about every single aspect of this journey. Um, I have a field coming up on Thursday, and I, like I said, I plan on taking you guys with me. Um, and I will be making a video here uh, today for my workout so you guys can see what I did. Like I said, I combat it, um, you know, worried about the bat wings. Um, I started doing a lot more strength training with my hubby, so uh, yeah. So anyway, I love you guys. If I get forget anything, you know I'll be back. I owe um, big shout out real fast to Wonder Woman at forty. I apologize. I'm gonna apologize to you in this form um, personally. I owe you a tag, and I'm also gonna do another a couple of other tag videos you have that coming from me. So um, for those of you who watched to the end, thank you so much. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give me a big thumbs up, and um, if it wasn't, no thumbs down. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, so I love you guys and I will talk to you all later. Mwah!